sure is slippery on these rocks without felt attached to the bottom of my soles. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of elevation here compared to phase two, which I'll never want to do again. I just go up here where the bend of the river is. And I tried to climb a hill off to my right here several weeks ago and try to find out where the canyon was. <clears throat> but the river kept flowing east by north. Instead of heading south. And after about two hours of climbing the hill, I said, that's enough, came back down. Never did find out where that river was relative to the canyon, but it doesn't matter. Water's pretty shallow here because it's also pretty wide. You can see where the canyon's running uh, dead ahead there with uh, uh, the hill in front of me and of course the hill on the right of me so um, I'm presuming at that point it's probably running uh, mm, mm, yeah coming from the southeast No, that's not right. Yes, it is. Coming from the southeast. Just 
to mosey up here. I know you can't see them, but there are <clears throat> Helga mites. Better known as periwinkles. To us who are in the great north woods. To you Midwesterners, this probably comes under the heading of bug. Look at all of them down there. Oh, they make a wonderful bait. Put them on about a number. 12 hook, 14 hook. Mm-mm-mm. Trout can't say no. Whew, that was close. That kind of deep there. My boys will get kind of wet and cold. My boys don't like being wet and cold. Well, they don't mind the former. I'm not too fond of the latter. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we have soles with felt on them. Oh yeah, there's a nice little swimming hole there. You can see the banks rising up. Then logs over here, logs over there. Come about seven o'clock, you have trouts right there. Signing off.